me introduce myself to you. I'm Terry, Terry Ann Hyman. I'm an author, podcaster, soul reader, and intuitive guide. I've been spreading my wings and opening up to the deepest desires of my soul. There are periods in my life where I have felt lost, alone, unsure of my path. Have you felt this way? Maybe even right now. I know I'm moving through lots of big shifts and changes and not quite there yet. But the thing that keeps me coming back to me is my soul's work, the energy within me. It's not out there but it's definitely within me and using skills and tools of spirituality like Reiki, like intuition, like the tarot, like tapping. I'm a big shower tapper, like digging into my soul and being on mother earth. So I set a goal for myself five years ago after my mom died, I bought a house in Birmingham and said, all right, I'm going to give myself five years. Well, I moved through that five year mark this weekend. And so here I am opening up and looking at those shifts and changes. It wasn't an easy five years. I can promise you that, but it sent me in search of myself and who I was and what my purpose was and what was that vow all about that I took back in 9-11 when I was living in New York. I went down to Costa Rica, worked with some shamans, did a little plant medicine, got deep into those energies there, opened up my consciousness. I went to Teotihuacan, went to some of those great portals. There was big changes there, big changes about my life and what was keeping me stuck and what was the purpose of my journey. Still really answering the questions of why am I here? But that is soul work. That is listening to the soul and being able to recognize how we can move through our struggles in life. We are all in this great awakening right now through these great shifts of life. And it can feel daunting, scary, fearful. I know right now I have moved through so much fear and it's not so much fear. I haven't been able to put quite a name on it. I feel a little bit mundane about things, a little bit. I don't know, it's like a calming, a peaceful energy, not too excited yet, not too depressed, not too inspired yet, very creative. I can't quite put a word on it, but I'm working even with my teacher today, just kind of like, yeah, this is where we're at. We're moving through changes. All has not yet been revealed, which means I am still opening up, but I don't allow myself to get into some of that victim energy I'm so used to running around in, right? We all can do that. But allowing myself to open up to those messages, messages within my soul that can perhaps even inspire you to open up deeper and to who you truly are. So yeah, I've been changing it up, looking at my offerings, writing a whole lot more. In fact, I even have as a contributing author with the great Freddie Silva and his book Portals coming out, where I talk about how one of these experiences in the sacred sites of Teote Tocana shifted my energy, opened me up to a greater perspective of my soul's work. It's coming out in June. I'm so excited about that. And in the book, I do talk about that experience and in the whole idea of just even portals and what are they about? I'll be sharing it. I'm going to have a book signing. A Ritual and Shelter, June 22nd, 3 p.m. I'm going to be signing the books and talking about what are portals, what my experience was, and how you can even tap into this energy for yourself. So welcome to my community. I've had a lot of new people. These five years have been amazing. Are you ready for the growth of your soul? So come join us, Ritual and Shelter, June 22nd on that summer solstice energy. Get a book and hear my story about sacred sites, past life energy, and the healing that can come forward when you visit these portals on our beautiful Mother Earth. Come check it out. To your spirit, to your soul. Namaste.